car journeys are going to be so much fun in the future. Tech giant Panasonic has unveiled its futuristic vision for an autonomous car cabin. The Panasonic Autonomous Car Cabin has four seats that can face each other, arranged around a centerpiece interactive digital display system. Each seat has an individual display screen table that allows passengers to map the journey, play games, or read information. The four screens can also combine into a single table with a bigger screen. The interior trim of the cabin is made of plastic smart materials that display information and can change to look like wood, metal, or leather. Augmented reality windows can display information about the car's surroundings, such as landmarks and points of interest. Meanwhile, each seat has a personal audio zone, with speakers integrated into the headrests. Facial recognition technology identifies the driver and will only permit registered drivers to take control of the vehicle. Should the driver choose to take the wheel, an eight-camera system feeds into an augmented reality display in the windshield to aid navigation. Panasonic's design was revealed at tech trade show CES 2017 in Las Vegas. According to the company, the plans are still a work in progress. But Panasonic hopes the concept will give people an idea of what the autonomous car of the future might look like. Here's four more stories about futuristic vehicle technology. Technology puts autonomous vehicles in the driving seat. A future in which self-driving vehicles travel our roads is edging closer as automakers introduce an ever-increasing range of innovations to their cars. One example of smart car technology is Ford's blind spot warning system. Radar sensors in the tail light detect other vehicles in the driver's blind spot and trigger a warning light in the side mirrors when it's unsafe to change lanes. Those radar sensors also detect oncoming vehicles when the vehicle is backing out of a parking spot. Other parking assistants already on the market include a feature in several Ford models that tells the driver when to hit the accelerator or brake. Meanwhile, some BMW drivers can already park their cars by pushing a button on a key fob. Today's cars use radar, sonar, cameras, or a combination of all three for active cruise control. This feature allows the car to drive autonomously at a fixed speed or at the speed of the vehicle in front, slowing down and speeding up automatically. However, the vehicle will emit a warning if the driver needs to take evasive action. The technology preps the brakes and will even brake automatically if the driver doesn't react in time. Some Mercedes cars can tell the difference between a four-legged and a two-legged obstacle and will brake harder for people. Cameras in today's cars can be used to detect lane markings and warn drivers to stay in their lane. This is designed to help tired drivers, but in practice often applies to those who are texting on their cell phones. If lane warnings aren't heated, this technology can steer the car back into the correct lane by hitting the brakes or turning the steering wheel. Tesla's electric cars are already capable of driving on autopilot and changing lanes without the driver's input. In the near future, we should expect to see Traffic Jam Autopilot, which will allow drivers to take their hands off the wheel in heavy traffic and let the car do the work. Looking further ahead, automakers are working on autonomous valet parking, which will see cars drop passengers off find their own parking space, then pick the passengers up when summoned by smartphone. However, we are still quite some time away from when every vehicle on the road is an autonomous one. But thanks to advances made by automakers, that day hopefully isn't too far away. This personal sub can take you and your two buddies underwater. A personal submarine sounds like a gadget James Bond or Batman would use, but one Dutch company is hoping to give us all a go as well. Netherlands-based engineering company Ortega Submersibles have created a personal underwater vehicle capable of transporting three people underwater together. The submersible is named the Mark 1C. It can carry 350 liters of cargo, meaning divers are able to carry more air or equipment as required. The 570 kilogram vessel is powered by two 10 kilowatt per hour electric thrusters. These propel it at speeds of up to 16.7 kilometers per hour on the ocean surface and 20 kilometers per hour underwater. 
Ortega says its designs are based on a World War II RAF motorized submersible canoe project called Sleeping Beauty. These were used by British forces for clandestine reconnaissance missions. Let us know in the comments if you'd like to see an animation on these and how they worked. The Mark 1C can dive to depths of 95 meters. Most recreational divers can only make it to 40 meters. Hansol 378i lightweight batteries allow the submersible to operate for 11 hours. The Mark 1C also comes equipped with advanced naval technology, including magnometers, sonars, and other sensors. Each passenger is equipped with a digital display that shows the status of the submersible, as well as a navigation system for above and underwater exploration. To extend dive time, the submersible also has an onboard air supply for each diver. There has been no statement regarding the price or release date from Ortega just yet. So until that time, does anyone fancy snorkeling or diving with sharks instead? No, no, just us? Okay then. Uber reckons you'll be able to hail a flying cab by 2026. Ride-hailing company Uber released a very intriguing white paper last month. The nearly 100-page document envisions a future where commuters jetting city to city in compact aircraft could be as normal as taking the train to work. Uber's prediction of a world with commonplace urban air transit systems relies heavily on the widespread use of small self-flying electric aircraft with vertical takeoff and landing capability. Also known as VTOL, it's most commonly used by helicopters, as well as a small number of military aircraft. Uber says a network of VTOL hubs or landing pads, dubbed VertiPorts and Verti Stops, could be used as terminals to ferry passengers around. Unlike cars, buses, and trains, VTOLs aren't susceptible to traffic jams or delays. They can fly from A to B with no fixed route. Uber estimates the cost of a 15-minute flight may eventually reach as low as $21. Uber expects the aircraft could fly at cruise speeds of around 150 miles per hour and won't go above 10,000 feet. The VTOL would be powered by rechargeable batteries that would maintain 30 minutes of reserve energy. Uber won't manufacture the aircraft, but predicts the market will have produced them by the early 2020s. Uber needs to collaborate with governments in the private sector for this to become a reality, so that could take longer than a decade, especially on the regulatory side. New car technology recognizes road signs. Some vehicles can now recognize signs and alert drivers when traveling on congested roads. A new technology is making cars smarter. Vehicles that are fitted with a specially designed forward-facing mirror and a rain sensor are able to recognize important traffic signals, such as speed limits, highway exits, no overtaking signs, and end of motorway indicators. The system automatically detects the signs and displays images of the warning on both the multifunction and navigation system unit displays. An onboard computer system cross-references the traffic signs detected by the camera with information from the navigation device and current vehicle data to make sure the information given to the driver is correct. The technology is available on selected car models produced by companies including Volkswagen, Audi, and Mercedes.